This is Chad Schutman hanging out at Warburton. Uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the ATV, the Advanced Training Visualizer. It's become quite the popular item from Warburton, and I wanted to talk about why I use it and how I use it. Um, obviously, as trumpet players, I consider what we do to be somewhat athletic, uh, especially as lead trumpet players, it's an athletic endeavor. For me, the ATV is the weight training you do during the week to get ready for the big game, i.e. your performance, right? And so, uh, I use this in that regard. And there's a couple things that you can do to establish a good buzz on this, get a clear tone. Of course, that's always the goal. Sound is number one, right? Everything relates to sound. This is a great device for building sound, but more than that, it's a great device for controlling that sound and maintaining a centered sound through all the registers of the instrument. Um, real popular exercise are the siren exercises that you see demonstrated by Brad Good and, of course, Kenny Titmus. Um, and this is kind of what I do. And so you can hear the places where the buzz is better, more centered, and gets a little loose and weak. And so those places are places you want to kind of work on. And you start to establish that, and you can find out very quickly what uh, your buzz is doing, how you're main maintaining that sound that you're going for through all the registers of the instrument. That's number one. Number two is, I actually use it as a visualizer. So you've got this open space. Uh, and I actually will look in a mirror while I'm playing to see what my chops are doing, to understand how they're working and making sure that uh, they're working the way I want them to. Um, you've got this cobra head on the back of the device that I think is pretty cool. And I really think that's more of a kind of a spit shield, for lack of a better word. But I actually set it down uh, because I want to be able to see what I do. Okay, so the next thing beyond that is, this is an athletic endeavor as we've mentioned. Well, the exercises you do in an advanced way, advanced training visualizer, is to then down push yourself uh, and, and get all the mechanism of playing the trumpet working. Real good exercise for that is an advanced version of the siren exercise. And I'll do that several times. And then on top of that, I'll extend it even further. So I'm working every bit as hard as I am when I'm playing a shout, a shout chorus or a high note at the end of a chart. It's hard work, um, but it teaches you to be efficient. It teaches you to be effective. If you use any tension in the wrong places, this will stop. It, it breaks apart. You'll notice immediately that uh, things aren't working the way they need to be in terms of efficiency. But I clearly feel it in my diaphragm, feel it in my corners. I have to work on staying relaxed in all the places you need to be relaxed here and obviously here and here. Um, but it certainly is a workout. Now the next part of this whole uh, device that I use is beyond just exercises, right? Exercises are important and they're necessary, but oftentimes they can be tedious. So it's okay to make music with this device and it's okay to make music with a lot of your training devices that you might use. Um, <clears throat> so what I'll do is if I have a big band gig coming up, let's say, or a symphony gig or whatever coming up at the end of the week, but I'm not going to be playing a lot leading up to it, I'll obviously use the Pete which is a, a great Warburton product. I use the Buzzard, which is their new buzzing device. And then, of course, I use this. But in this regard, I'll use it melodically to play a, a lead line, to do those things that help me make music better as well, because that's ultimately the goal, to make great music. So here's a good example of something I might play to work out my mechanism to get it ready to do the high-intensity big game. do to push myself even further is And that is a real challenge. And you can hear the break happening up top. It's great for that. It's great working over the break, doing those things. And what I mean is, you can hear those 
breaks. Well, that's okay. That's part of figuring out playing the trumpet, to get those breaks smooth and effortless. So when you hear that second exercise, right, play it in a good solid lead register, then push yourself on an extreme level. Try to do that. That really becomes quite the challenge. And if you can work through those break areas and in that upper register, then you're really using the device to its fullest extent. Um, but that's great. I'm going to have to take a break now because I've just beaten myself up sufficiently. But what a great thing to do in literally one minute, two minutes a day, get the workout of your life, and at the same time improve your musicality and your tone quality. So check out the ATV. Thanks, guys.